guys, I stayed in Bangkok for a few days before going to Koh Samui, but I went during the protest, so there was protests going on with guards in Blue Fifers. And also they had metal detectors, and also they had to search my bag, which is a bit scary. But here is the Central World Mall that I went to. And also in the mall, it had the best seafood restaurants. And I recommend you guys try the Tom Yum Soup. It was off chops, and as well as the green vegetables, which is good. There was also hard candy sold in the mall, so these are sometimes given in Vietnamese weddings but it's interesting seeing them being cut up like that in front of your face. And I also ate Pad Thai while I was in Koh Samui as well as chicken fried rice with chili and basil. And these are just some of the tops I bought from the markets. It's a given when you go to Thailand, you gotta at least buy some of these tops. Now it's a flight from Bangkok to Koh Samui and back even though it was an hour's flight I was given food. So thanks to Bangkok Airways for that. And anyways, when I got off the airport I had to ride a cart to get to the actual airport to pick up my luggage and the airport was so nice and it's open. And this is just what it looks like driving from the airport to a villa and there is a lot of trees and grass and land and it just shows you what the land actually looks like but anyways what I miss most for me about Thailand is the massages and the readily available coconut because if you notice in all my photos I drank coconut with each meal so I kind of miss that like there is coconut here but um, it's just not as cheap as in Thailand and there was also people there to cut up for you but here you gotta do it yourself My friends and I stayed at the replay residence and pool villa on the villa side and I also have a villa room tour uploaded on my YouTube channel so if you guys are interested I'll just leave that on the links below. And one of my first meal at Koi Sumui is the Patsy Eel from Room Service which was delicious if I say so myself. And when I was walking along the road you could see like so many power lines connected to one pole and it's really crazy especially at night time I could see and hear the sparks. And there's not much taxis here in Koh Samui, but this is our ride of transport and it fit all my friends in the back. I went to go see the tiger and leopard but they seemed really drugged up and sleepy which was slack on the animals. And so after I went to go see the grandfather and the grandmother rocks and there were side streets and shops and carts along the way so if you wanted you can buy food and the water is really clean and blue. And it went for the waves then I would have gone for a swim and jumped in. A lot of the shops have the seafood on display at the front in ice and so here is a picture of I think a shark, fish and prawns. And I really love this restaurant, their food is really good and so here's a crab curry, there's chicken with vegetables, steak, chips and also a salad and also the coffee club wasn't so bad either.
pilot said the only time I actually wore makeup was to the clubs and for the filming party and here is rolls on rolls of the alcohol bucket and here is a picture of the shakes if you know what I mean and also my friends and I ended up buying a few fireworks from the markets and decided to light some up on our last day here in Thailand <laughs> This is just at Bangkok Airport and also I had my last meal here which was at Sheen Kitchen and I really love the iced lemon tea here though. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for my Thailand haul as well as my videos of my Korean trip. Bye guys!